Hello, my name is Parapi. Previously, I was asked how to make a mesh around multiple cylinders. I hadn't tried it, but it seemed that there are situations you want to do, so I tried. In conclusion, it was not so difficult. So, in this video, I will show you how to create a mesh or multiple STL file with snappy hex mesh. There are two parallel cylinders. I will make a mesh to analyze the flow around them. For audiences who do not understand snappy hex mesh, I have uploaded a tutorial video. If you look at it in advance, you will be able to understand this video easily. In order to execute snappy hex mesh, it is necessary to prepare a hexahedral shape background mesh and geometry files. Since there are two cylinders, so you need to prepare two STL files. First of all, let me explain the arrangement of the background mesh and the cylinder while keeping the screen. The size of the background mesh uh, this rectangular area is 20, 10, 10 cm in the XYZ directions. The axis of the cylinder is placed parallel to the Z axis. And the, ori the origin of the rectangular mesh is the center of the lower surface perpendicular to the Z axis. Seen from above, the cylinders are 2 cm apart and the radius is 4 cm. No, 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 no. 4 mm. Let's call the left cylinder 1 and the right cylinder 2. Now, let's start the work. The composition is displayed now. I will run the, the echo form and visualize the results in the same directory I create the mesh. Uh, however, it will take time to explain the calculation conditions in this video, so I will omit them. Please set them as you like. Looking at the tree, there are cylinder 1.stl and cylinder 2.stl in dry surface directory. These are created by FreeCAD and moved to this directory. You don't have to prepare before the work. Now, let's edit the block mesh uh, dict because we want to create the background mesh first. Block mesh dict looks like this. It is the same as the figure that is displayed on the screen. I think there is no problem if we, even if I do not explain the contents. It's an extraordinary thing, but you can s use variables like this to set the vertices. It looks beautiful. Uh, use it I if you like. Then run block mesh. Okay, it's over. The background mesh was created. Looking at the tree again, the mesh entity is the directory called polymesh created in the constant directory. You do not need to touch them. Next, uh, create the geometry of the cylinder. I will explain only important points about creating a cylinder with free CAD. This is the completed cylinder one. I always draw a circle on the XY plane by sketch and use a pad to create a cylinder. Then it is a specification that the dimensions of this sketch figure will be multiplied by 1000 when exported in SDL format with free CAD. So it is necessary to pay attention to that point when creating. I want to make the radius 4 mm in open form, so I made it with 4 micrometers here. 
and I want the cylinders to be 2 cm apart. Uh, the intersection of the red line and the green line is the origin of the XY plane. So I will move the cylinder 10 micrometers from the origin in the negative x direction. This is the end of the sketch. Using pad exclude extrusion with 0.1 mm, the height will be 10 cm in open form. You can match the dimensions with the background mesh. And the same can be applied to cylinder 2. With the geometry selected, export it with a name in STL format from the file, export. These two are the files uh, created. Copy to try surface. The preparation of the geometry file is completed. Next, uh, I want to set up snappy hex mesh, so let's edit snappy hex mesh dict. In the video I posted earlier, most procedures of snappy hex mesh were explained. This time, I will explain only the part which is different from the case of single SDL file. The first is the geometry dictionary. Uh, create a sub dictionary for each SDL file and specify the file name. You can arrange as many objects as you like in the same way. So you can model, for example, heat exchanger. Uh, with many tubes. In the castellated mesh dictionary, only the way to set the refinement surface is different from the case of single SDL. If you want to subdivide the patches, write like this in the refinement surfaces sub dictionary. If you do not write it, I think it will be split with the default. Probably, you won't get any errors even if you do not write it. Uh, next, snap controls. I haven't edited this part yet. Finally, if you want to cut the boundary layer mesh, you also need to set other layers controls. The layers sub dictionary allows you to specify the numbers of layers on each patch. The method of specifying, specifying the patch name worked well by using a wildcard like this. This means to insert 5 boundary layers on the patches of cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. This completes all settings. Execute snappy hex mesh. When you execute snappy hex mesh, if you do not add any options, all meshes after castellated me processing, mesh after snap processing, and meshes of two other layers up to other layers processing will be created. However, if you specify hyphen override as a, as the option, you can output only the mesh after other layers processing. The output path is a constant polymesh. It is the same path of the mesh by block mesh. In other words, it will be overwritten. Then, let's execute it. Ok, the process finished. If the initial conditions, boundary conditions, and calculation conditions have been set, you are ready for simulation. Execute EcoForm and visualize the result after the simulation.
Now the echo form is st still running, but I accidentally execute it under conditions that take a very long time. So I interrupt the process and the check the result on Paraview. It seems that I can calculate with no bug. You have now created a mesh with uh, multiple geometries uh, through this video. That's it for this time. I recorded this video to answer a question. In this way, I'm grateful that you can provide a topic from a perspective that I do not have. There are many things I haven't tried yet, so if you have any questions, I'd be happy if you could comment. If you like, please subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.